After traveling around the world the last couple of years, I found a couple of tips and tricks to help save money, time, and frustration during booking travel, as well as navigating the airport before the flight. So today I'm going to share my top five tips and hacks. Cue the intro. Welcome to Ronnie's world, where the intersection of travel, EDC, and tech meet. This video is not sponsored. Any products discussed will be linked below. If the link is used to purchase the product, the channel will make a small commission at no additional cost to you. So let's get into it. Paying for travel. When traveling, trying to snag a great deal on a flight and a hotel are key. I've started utilizing credit card rewards to secure flights and hotels, and I gotta say, it's kind of addictive. First, I strategically have open cards when the welcome offer is high and I can reasonably meet the spending requirement to gain that welcome offer. Then I use my credit cards to pay for things I use every day like gas, food, dining out, online shopping, etc. to rack up travel points and rewards. Then I search for the best redemption value via points transfer portals based on which transfer partner I'll be using and voila money saved. The key for me is paying the balance prior to the statement date to negate interest on the purchase, thus not reducing the value of the reward earned. If this strategy is used correctly, you'll be surprised how far your monthly expenses can take you. If you would like to see a video on this strategy, comment show me how below and I will accommodate. Number two, one bag travel. This is a concept that I could not grasp even two years ago, but with the cost of check bags rising and the amount of lost luggage occurring, I became intrigued by the idea. It starts with the right bag and a minor mind shift. I use the 40 liter travel pack from Nomadic. This bag is a carry on size, at least on most domestic and international flights I've been on. Some discount carriers could have an issue, but check the airline you're flying and see the size and weight limits to make sure. If you follow me, you know I love this brand. This, plaque has, this pack has plenty of space and organization to allow for five to seven days of clothing and accessories, along with a dedicated large laptop pouch, dedicated shoe pouch, waterproof pocket, and a felt line pocket for more delicate items. Add to this the use of compression packing cubes. These I found on Amazon. They came in a pack of six, two large, two medium, and two small to allow you to mix and match as needed. Add these items in a capsule wardrobe and it is possible. As a recovering overpacker, this tip alone can save you over $75 on a round trip flight. I know some co-branded airline credit cards will cover check luggage if you use the card to book your flight. Shout out to United and American Airlines co-branded credit cards. But if you are not utilizing that strategy, try this one and let me know how you like it. TSA pre-check and clear for my US friends. To save time and frustration with having to remove clothing items, electronics, travel size liquids, and other items, I joined TSA PreCheck. Other than the one time I was flying out of Las Vegas, Harry Reid and TSA personnel shut down the PreCheck line on a Sunday night when it seemed like half of Vegas was leaving after an NFL game, it's been great. Never really longer than five minutes to clear, the secure, to clear security without the hassle. Pro tip, do remove all items from your pocket and slip them in your carry-on bag pockets to one security item and not leaving them in a bin open for theft or left behind because you're rushing. And again, having the right travel credit card could save you here as well, as many offer a credit or reimbursement for using a card to pay for TSA pre-check or clear. Number four, know where you're going. If you're flying to a new airport or your home airport has undergone renovations lately, Terminal A at Newark comes to mind, Downloading the airport's app, which has maps of each terminal, are extremely helpful in cutting down on mindlessly walking around looking for a bathroom or where do I pick up my ride share. Again, I'm looking at you, Las Vegas, and other needed venues. It can help you navigate where a specific gate is. 12 may not necessarily be next to 13 or where is baggage claim. In the same vein, downloading your airline's app is just as advantageous. Getting real-time alerts about gate changes, flight arrival times, and utilizing mobile check-in, and having your mobile boarding passes are all great time-saving features. Number five, lounge access. This may seem unnecessary and over-the-top bougie to some, but trust me, this hack is a hidden gem. And it sometimes goes back to the tip number one. Having the right travel credit card can open this perk up. 
Amex, Capital One, and Chase, just to name a few, have this as a benefit on their upper tier cards. A lounge allows you a place to recharge, grab a bite to eat, and grab a cocktail or five, or even take a shower. Most are relatively clean and give you a place to sit and rest and are more spacious than terminal seating. Now with the advent of increased use of these travel cards, however, this perk can at some times be hard to use because of the post-COVID travel bump. Lounges in some airports fill up fast and they will deny you entry or delay it until the crowd thins out, no matter your status. If you don't currently have a travel credit card, you can purchase day passes to the lounge of the airline you are traveling or a Priority Pass membership, which is a yearly subscription plan with multiple tiers of membership, but also a perk on certain credit cards. Some airlines allow you to redeem miles for either day passes or lounge memberships. But in my opinion, airline tickets and hotel bookings are the best use of miles. Some people might find value in redeeming their miles this way, however. But as I said, just because you have it does not guarantee entry, so beware. Comment below if you've been denied or had your lounge access delayed due to overcrowding. So that's it, my travel tips and tricks. Am I missing something that has improved your travel experience? Leave me a comment below. If you found value in this video, leave a like so YouTube will suggest it to others. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Follow me on Instagram at Ronnie's World 240 or on Facebook at Ronnie's World. I leave you now as I always do. Buy the bag, book the flight, take the trip. See you next week. Cue the outro.